We can't help the fact that we get older, but we do have a lot of control over how we age, especially for women in our 30s and 40s. The habits we build right now will dictate how we transition through menopause. That is whether we fall off a cliff or whether we stroll leisurely down the hill. I'm more on the team of wanting to stroll down a hill. Hopefully you are too. So today I'm gonna share five crucial anti-aging tips to help you age like fine wine. I'm Kelsey Ale, I'm a certified functional nutritionist, a restorative wellness practitioner, and I help women learn how to heal their gut, age well, and love doing it. If you want more information on gut health, women's health, and healthy aging, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. My first crucial tip is start now. Whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, wherever you are, start thinking about aging and being proactive about building habits that support aging well today. And when I say start to think about aging, what I mean is whether or not you wanna amp up your skincare routine is totally up to you, but what you absolutely need to do today is to start to build effective, healthy lifestyle habits so that your next decades can be as smooth as possible for you. And again, this is especially true for women in our 30s and 40s because this is a critical window of time for us. You might be starting to experience some hormone changes already but haven't quite hit menopause yet, or maybe your hormones are still balanced, but this is what's around the corner. Start building these habits now because it's so much easier to do what we can to prevent disease and symptoms than it is to reverse them once they've started. And sometimes it can be hard to find motivation when we're not quite in pain yet, or if you have a high pain threshold and you have the ability to just keep pushing and feeling not great and not worrying about it, I don't get that, but maybe that's you. <laughs> but if there's anything in you that thinks it would be a good idea to listen to this and start to do something different, I urge you to listen to that small voice and get started now. So tip number one, start today. Whatever you do, whatever habit you decide to pick up, find one small action that can help you start to build that habit and then do it again tomorrow and again the day after that and again the day after that. Tip number two is sleep. Sleep well, sleep enough. This may be hard for you because perimenopause insomnia and hormone imbalances and sleep problems are real. We also have stressful lives and we have tons of opportunities to do fun stuff after dark, including sitting on your couch, binge watching friends for the third time or whatever you might consider to be fun. But sleep is so critical to all aspects of our health, our brain health, our gut health, our hormone health, our adrenal health, and our skin health, that doing what you can to sleep well is a critical key to aging well and transitioning through menopause smoothly. One small thing you could start doing today is to avoid screens for two hours before bed. Instead, you could read a book, meditate, do yoga, stretch, take up playing the ukulele <laughs> or the guitar, uh, do a paper crossword puzzle, do a jigsaw puzzle, listen to an audiobook. Maybe those activities aren't for you, but I encourage you to start focusing on practicing habits to support good sleep now because it will do you just so much good in the long run, so much good. Tip three, build muscle. Don't be afraid to go to the gym and lift heavy things. So many women are afraid of getting bulky and this is not going to be a problem for most of us unless you focus on building big muscles with isolated heavy exercises. And even if you do build some muscle, well, I mean, A, that's the point, and B, it's hot to be healthy. Muscle building should be a priority for you at this stage of life. Women actually start to lose three to 5% of their muscle mass every year after age 30, and then that amount can increase up to as much as 8% muscle mass loss per year after we reach age 65. So this increases your risk and likelihood of falling and sustaining serious injuries that can lead to permanent disabilities or even death, not even joking. So the best way to avoid this and to give yourself an opportunity to maintain not only health, but also independence as you age is to prevent that muscle loss in the first place by starting to lift heavy things. Number four crucial anti-aging tip is to heal your gut. Your gut is the foundation of health in your body and you may be surprised to learn about the correlation between gut health and hormone health, especially for women. 
Our microbiome is critical for balancing hormones. And in fact, there is a bi-directional relationship, meaning your hormones impact your microbiome and your microbiome also impacts your hormones. This is, again, especially important to think about when we consider transitioning through menopause smoothly and the hormones that are involved and hormone balance that is involved in that. A healthy microbiome also reduces overall inflammation in the body, which reduces our risk of diseases of aging and helps maintain overall cellular health. So working on improving your digestion and healing your gut, um, maybe your small action is going to be to add in a serving of fermented foods every day, but healing your gut definitely needs to be a priority. And my number five crucial anti-aging tip is to let go of making yourself wrong for aging. Your body is inevitably going to change. It is changing right now. And you can save a lot of energy if you learn how to surf the waves instead of trying to hold back the tide. And I think that's just some general good life advice, I think, but especially when it comes to aging as a woman in our society. And just like learning to surf, learning to accept and even embrace and navigate aging is a learning process that takes time. You're not gonna be good at it at first. It's definitely going to be uncomfortable and it's gonna push up against some insecurities and fears that we have, and that's okay but getting curious about your new body, investing time in learning about ways you can support yourself and take care of yourself can be a more productive way to direct that energy and focus instead of, again, trying to hold back that tide. Remember that healthy aging isn't built in a day, but by picking one small action you can start to do on a daily basis, you'll be setting yourself up to age well and be able to have more fun in your life for decades to come. So with all that being said, I hope this video has been helpful. I would love to know your thoughts on aging well as a woman. If you like this information and want to learn more about supporting your health naturally and building the right habits for aging well as a woman, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Also, if you can, please give us a like on this video. It helps out my channel a lot. So give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Thank you for watching. Remember to hydrate and subscribe and I'll see you next time.